In this video, we'll talk about assembling uh, the hardware for a feeder that you can use for the ADSB IM feeder image. So go to the ADSB.im homepage and click on the supported hardware tab where we have an always current list of the boards that we test and recommend. Let's start out with your single board computer. Typically, I recommend a Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, one gigabyte of RAM is plenty. Some people like the Pi 5, but that really is overkill. Orange Pi uh, 03 also works. It's often a little cheaper than the Pi 4, but at the end, the Pi 4 is likely the easiest choice. Really important, you need a good power supply. The SDR that you need, there are many options. Uh, the AirSpy Mini is definitely the best for airplane tracking at 1090 megahertz, um, but there are fairly good um, Chinese SDRs available, either directly imported from AliExpress. Uh, it also comes in uh, various branded versions from Airplanes Live and Airframes IO and others. Um, it's a fairly good RTL SDR with a 1090 megahertz filter and uh, LNA. It usually comes in a blue metal housing, which really helps with heat dissipation and longevity of the SDR. Um, next, you need an antenna. I, I would recommend looking at Matthias Wirtz Wiki. There are so many options depending on indoor and outdoor. In the example, in a moment, we'll just use a cheap indoor dongle. If you pick the AirSpy Mini, you will need a filter and an LNA, but for the integrated um, SDR, that is not necessary. Finally, we of course need an SD card, or technically a micro SD card. Um, you can make this work in eight gigabytes and usually i say just get 64 gigabytes because those all cost the same but a 16 gigabyte often is kind of the, the cheapest sweet spot and that's what i'll be using in the example so this is the hardware that we will be using in this example of how to assemble a simple adsb feeder i've picked a raspberry pi 4b uh, with one gigabyte uh, memory in this example um, we are adding a very simple housing. It's passively cooled. It's it's really easy to assemble. Next, we need a good power supply. The genuine Raspberry Pi power supplies tend to be cheap and really good. Here we have a third-party 5.1 volt 4 amp USB-C power supply, also recommended. Do not try to use a USB charger to power your Raspberry Pi. That will not work. Then we have the um, no-name SDR that I mentioned earlier, directly imported from China. Uh, so this comes in the metal housing. It really makes a difference from the longevity because it helps to cool the SDR. They do get pretty warm when you use them. Um, we also need an antenna, of course. As I mentioned in the other video, I, I simply picked a no-name indoor dongle here. There are so many choices. And finally, we need a micro SD card and an adapter that allows us to uh, write the software onto the SD card in your computer. So to put it all together, uh, first <laughs> remove the Raspberry from its box. Interestingly enough, these no longer come in a little plastic bag. It's all just anti-static paper. So this is how it, what it looks like when you unbox it. Um, next, we grab our housing. Um, as I said, I like this passive housing. There, there are many different options. This is really easy to assemble, which is one of the things that I like about it. It comes with all of the required parts, including the tools that you need. So on the inside, you will see the heat transfer pads and the screws and the little wrench. As I mentioned, this is a passive housing, so you don't have a loud fan inside. Instead, you have these extrusions from the housing that connect directly uh, to the hot chips on the Pi, and therefore the heat gets moved out to the metal housing. Um, it just The Pi itself just fits into the base of the housing. You add the top, it all fits smoothly together. You use the little screws and screw it all together. And there you have your Pi in its little box. Next, we need to write the software on the micro SD card. So we insert it into adapter and do this in your computer. I described this in a different video. Once that's done, you insert the micro SD card into your Pi. There is a little slot at the end. You can see this through this housing where you insert the micro SD card. Be a little careful there. 
Once that's done, connect the um, SDR. It can go into any of the four USB ports, uh, it doesn't matter. And finally, we attach the antenna to the SDR. Here in this example, it's a simple indoor antenna that goes directly on it. If you have something else, there may be cable in between. But that's the principle. You connect it to the SMA port at the other end. Finally, we uh, get our power supply. This one has a switch, which is really nice. So you don't need to always plug and unplug the USB-C port, which is there on the side. And once you plug that in, the ADS-B feeder image software will start and you are ready to go.